What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video where I've built something, so I wanted to show you today what I'm doing. I'm building a battery box for my solar panel system. I've had these, uh, these four golf cart batteries uh, for a little while. I've used a couple of them in some of my Willet Solar videos. Um, or will it inverter videos, but um, today I need to build a new box and add a bank this bank of four and then I've got another bank of four that's already out in my shed um, I want to double the ca the amp hour capacity of my of my battery bank so I need a much bigger box and Now I'm not going to take quite step by step on this video um, It's going to be a pretty simple box. So I don't think I really need to go step by step and uh, I tend to ramble a lot in my videos. I, I get some feedback that, that I talk too much sometimes, so I'm just gonna concentrate more on just uh, showing you what I'm doing and the finished product. Okay, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but I've kind of drawn out a sketch of what I've got here. Basically, it's gonna be two, um, well, it's, it's a rectangular box with two smaller rectangles inside of it. One is a little bit skinnier for the golf cart batteries I had before, which are, um, you know, only about 10 inches wide, and then a bigger one for the new batteries, which are slightly larger. And then, so I've kind of calculated some of the the measurements that I need to cut on this uh, board of OSB, and then I'll get started on the cutting. All right, so I've got all these pieces cut out now. I'm going to start start to assemble the box. Um, I'll go ahead and pre-assemble it so you can kind of see what it looks like, and then we'll glue it and screw it together. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when it's assembled. Um, I've got a couple minor alterations to make to get this to fit snug, and then uh, I will glue it and screw it together. And then this is gonna be the lid, and I'm gonna get some hinges you know, like some piano hinges or something like that for the top um, to seal it up. All right, so I'm using some long clamps um, to hold these sides in place while I put, I'm putting four screws in each side. That's probably overkill for this, for this box, but, you know, nails or uh, screws are cheap, so why not? So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the corners and put the bottom on. Now the bottom's gonna be easier to do from the top. So I'm gonna lay that on top, uh, screw it down from above and then flip it over. Okay, here it is done. Um, installed those hinges on the back and installed the divider in the middle. I've got, I didn't go with a piano hinge because they were more expensive. I just went with two uh, three inch hinges, I believe, or two and a half inch hinges. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like with one of these batteries in there. I don't have the skinnier batteries with me because they're still being used out in the shed, but. Okay, so I've got four of those batteries that are gonna go over here and then four slightly smaller golf cart batteries. These are marine deep cycle batteries. And then I'll have four of the golf cart batteries. Um, don't really know why I did that, just just the way it, way it went. So, um, like I said, I'll have to cut a hole in here to vent it at some point. I'll know where I'm going to do that. And then also, I'm going to rig up some sort of bus bars to connect all of this to before it goes out in one big fat cable to the uh, charge controller. So, I'll do a follow-up video and show all of that sometime later. But thanks for watching, guys.